Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Windows 10 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to boot in safe mode. So normally with the other Windows versions, you would simply hold F8 when booting up to go into safe mode, but that's actually impossible in Windows 10 without some alterations to the computer. So we'll go through two different steps of how to do that. The first is actually very simple. Just go down to the Windows button around here and then select Power. Once we're in there, we're going to hold down the Shift key and click restart. Now you want to hold, continue to hold down the shift key until the computer begins to restart. And now we'll look at an example of what that looks like. So as you can see right now, it's getting ready to boot into safe mode. So after we've selected safe mode by holding down the shift key and hitting restart, this is where it brings us into where we can go ahead and just reboot the PC, troubleshoot by uh, resetting your PC or some other advanced options, and then just continuing to Windows 10. We're gonna to go to troubleshoot, Advanced Options, then in Advanced Options we go to Startup Settings, then once in the Startup Settings we go to Restart, we can enable Safe Mode. So as you can see here, if I hit the corresponding F key, so F4 would bring me to Safe Mode. Let's go ahead and do that. So now it asks me to log in, and then we'll log in through Safe Mode. And as you can see the resolution's off, that's just kind of what Safe Mode looks like, because it's going to load a little bit lower processing power so that you can debug and do some troubleshooting. And now we're in safe mode. We have the signature safe mode uh, icons in the corners and now we're ready to do some uh, debugging. So let's get into the second method for booting in the safe mode. This is a little bit more technical but it provides more choices. So we'll go down here and hit click Cortona or we're just going to search really. So MS config and look in the description if you need to find any of this information. So we're going to select system configuration. So once system configuration opens up, we want to go to the boot tab and then we can select boot options safe mode. Under safe mode, we can select several different types of safe mode. I recommend not going into alternative shell or active directory repair just because those are going to be extremely technical, but you can easily go into minimal and network. If you have any questions about booting in the safe mode, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.